I'm a sucker for a good alien invasion story, so when I heard from my wife that Hulu has a new exclusive film called No One Will Save You, I thought, wow, streaming movies usually suck, but I want to give it a shot. Turns out my initial instinct was right. All right, cards on the table. I am being a little harsh with my introduction. I don't think No One Will Save You is outright bad. I do think from a story standpoint, it really drops the ball in the final act. This is going to be spoiler free. I will just say this film feels like Hulu's attempt to make an A24 movie, but it kind of makes the bad kind. Some of you might say there is no bad kind. A24 only makes bangers and only makes gems. Well, not for me. For me, it's very hit and miss. And No One Will Save You is really like that all the way through. There's some stuff I really enjoy. The cinematography is top notch. The actress... Um, we can get into that in a little bit. I love the creature design. I like the look of the UFOs. Visually, it's got it all going on. Audio is very solid. Good jump scares here and there. A good tension building up throughout the film. Actress Caitlin Dever plays a young woman who is basically a one-woman show. It's really just her with an occasional cameo by another townsperson. She lives in a big, beautiful farmhouse by herself. We get little teases of what happened to her family as the movie progresses, but her whole story is a mystery, which can make it a little hard to fully connect to the character. Because as it stands, whenever she does interact with someone in town, they hate her guts. But why? I kept asking myself. And what happened to her mother and father? And who's this friend that she keeps talking about? And why is she breathing so goddamn loud the entire movie? I'm gonna be honest, certain things trigger the hell out of me in movies, one such thing is people loudly catching their breath. This character, Bryn, she is constantly trying to catch her breath. Running up some stairs. <sighs> catching her breath. Hiding around a corner. <sighs> catching her breath. Sitting on a seat in a bus doing nothing. <sighs> Get a fucking inhaler! <clears throat> I watched this with my wife and two kids. Movies PG-13. Pretty much harmless. It's, it's definitely got some scarier stuff, but my 11 year old son was, was not feeling it. My daughter, 14, she was like, eh, it was interesting. It was okay. Connor, my, my son gave it a six out of 10. It was a generous score for him. I'm leaning more towards a five, maybe even a four out of 10. Listen, everything builds at this ending and the final third of this movie is a complete shit show. It's a narrative disaster. It makes the character even more unlikable. It does explain what happened in the past, but it doesn't make any more rational sense as to what happens next. And having this movie fall on its face in the story department is disappointing because there is some pretty cool ideas here. I like the alien tech. I like the way that they all look a little different and they have different powers. Another negative for me is the fact that this character has more hero plot armor than any other character in existence. The fact that she poses so much trouble for these aliens is beyond all comprehension. It's not like she has any certain skill set. It's not like she's a trained military officer or something or she's fucking Liam Neeson. No. She's a regular young woman living in this house alone and these creatures who, by the way, have the ability to move stuff with their minds can't handle a girl with a pair of scissors in her hand. It got so far-fetched that I kept thinking the end has to justify what's going on. There's got to be an explanation, and I'm going to leave it there. I will just say it's going to disappoint a lot of people. It's very polarizing, and I'll leave it at that. It is only an hour and a half long, which is nice. It is coming up on scary season. we got Halloween right around the corner, so it's timed very well for Hulu. So, if you've seen a lot of the other movies that this is definitely getting inspiration from, such as Signs such as War of the Worlds, maybe check it out. You might be pleasantly surprised. I went in blind. I didn't see a single trailer or piece of artwork for this movie. I went off of my wife's advice that she got from social media people that were paid to like this film. And I have to say, they're the real winners here. They're the real winners here. All right, I wanna hear from you. Did you watch No One Will Save You already? Is it on your bucket list of things to watch before Halloween? Let me know in the comments below. Please like the video if you had a good time. Subscribe if you had a great time. I would love to have you stick around the channel because no one but you can decide if you hit the subscribe button. No one can subscribe for you is what I'm getting at. All right, hopefully I see you next time. Take care.